Hayes Dominion Disc Break Two-Stroke Bleed Procedure. There are two procedures for bleeding Dominion brakes. Refer to our Hayes Dominion Disc Break Bleed Procedure video first for these scenarios. Shortening or rerouting a hose, new brake system install, basic brake bleed. This video covers the second procedure, the two-stroke bleed process. Use this whenever you rebuild a Dominion caliper or if you suspect there is air in the caliper. Brake bleeding accomplishes two goals, replace old brake fluid with new and eliminate air from the system. Both will improve performance and lever feel. Assemble these tools and let's get started. Remove the wheel. Remove the A4 kingpin or A2 T2 pad pin from the caliper. Remove the pads and sandwich spring from the caliper. Remove the caliper mount bolts. You'll need to manipulate the caliper so it is vertical when bleeding. Using the Hayes bleed block, tire lever, or the boxed end of a 10 millimeter wrench, push the caliper pistons back into their bores until they're flush with the edge of the caliper. Be careful not to scratch the piston and make sure it is not misaligned in the bore. Insert the bleed block into the caliper. Insert the pad retention pin to hold the block in place. Using the Hayes bleed kit, assemble two syringes. Fill a syringe three quarters full of DOT 5.1 fluid. Eliminate all air from the syringe and close the hose clip. Pull a small vacuum to remove any air dissolved in the fluid. Fill the second syringe one quarter full of DOT 5.1 fluid and prepare it the same as the first. Make sure the caliper is slightly lower than the master cylinder and remove either caliper bleed screw using a T10 Torx driver and attach the first syringe. Unlock the syringe. Pull a slight vacuum to remove the air from the syringe installation. Add slight positive pressure and lock the syringe. Install a second syringe on the other caliper bleeder following the same steps. Unlock both syringes and push fluid from the first to the second syringe. Return the fluid. Cycle the fluid back and forth until no air is seen. Place the caliper slightly lower than the master cylinder, then lock the first syringe and add slight positive pressure at the second syringe. Lock the second syringe and remove it. Install the bleed screw using a T10 Torx and torque to 12 inch pounds. Unlock the first syringe, add slight positive pressure and lock the syringe. Remove it and install the bleed screw using a T10 Torx and torque to 12 inch pounds. Make sure the bleed block or pad spacers are still installed in the caliper and check the brake for proper function by squeezing the lever. If no air remains in the system, then proceed with the following steps. Clean the caliper with isopropyl alcohol. Reinstall your pads and tighten the A4 kingpin or A2 T2 pad pin using a hex wrench. Torque to the proper specification. Reinstall the caliper and torque the bolts. Reinstall the wheel. 
test the brake again for proper function. You have completed the Dominion two-stroke bleed process. This optional two-stroke bleed process helps to ensure that all air is removed from the caliper by performing a fluid flush of the caliper only. Please continue to our YouTube channel and HayesBicycle.com for more maintenance procedures and assembly instructions. Thank you for riding with Hayes.